recording has started. I'm in standing position again. You know I'm being serious now. Let me take a drink. <clears throat> What's my say cup? Yeah, it's almost choked. I'm sorry. Oh god, what an intro. Game start. As you can tell, Diverse World again today. I think I did this last Wednesday, so uh we're in Israel. Let's uh zoom right in. I'll say we're in Jerusalem and uh maybe go from there and maybe find a better uh location. Uh give me one sec. Got a pause for had to burp, sorry. I didn't think you guys wanted to hear that. Unless you did, then I'm sorry, but Oh god. Man, I this is a very unprofessional and potentially disgusting start. I am sorry. I don't know if there's an actual like burping ASMR. I'm sure there is. I'm sure somebody likes it. Everything is everyone's kink at some point, but why does it gotta be a kink? Can't it just be a thing? I don't know. What are we doing here? What's your pamphlets? You selling doesn't look like you're selling lemonade. Is that a umbrella through a cardboard box? That's interesting. Really wish I could read this stuff and maybe be able to tell me what's going on. Seems to be I feel like these are facing the wrong way. Like they should be out towards the road. Maybe that's just because every other way I've seen uh, tables done, they're always facing the road, not towards a building. But I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe they do things a little differently here in Jerusalem. Um, but yeah, how we doing? This is Wednesday. Uh, Geoguessing around the world, as we do three times a week. For someone's pleasure. I don't know who. Maybe it's mine, at least. I mean, if I didn't enjoy doing this, I would probably stop. Are there days that I don't? I mean, I'd be lying if I said there's probably a day where I was like, oh, it's tedious, but I can't think of it right now. Um, but if you yourself enjoy this and actually have a suggestion for a map location or anything at all, I've said so many times at this point, go ahead, put them in the comments below. I will read and review them. And nice flames, dude. This car is not moved in forever. Look at how dusty that thing is. It's got some film on it right there. You can tell this car goes fast. Just by the flames in the wheel. They don't let anyone just put those on their car. You have to have a legitimately fast car in order to do that. Did that wheel... Sorry, I'm like distracted. Oh, I thought this wheel was like completely bent to the side. And I was about to say, that car ain't moving for a while. A lot of dusty cars, you can't park very well either. Man, there's some questionable part. Look at the, okay, I'm going to sit here and just judge car. Not even the line. This person looks to be angled a smidge. They seem to at least be within the lines here. What about this car up here? A little angled. You don't give a fuck. Look, he's just part, no respect the rules in any way i've i've got some umbrage here i mean i would have be a completely different thing if say there weren't any of the lines here but look at this thing this has been parked forever he backed in didn't give a shit about parking and say if somebody needed to park right here he can't inconsiderate like i'm not one of those look at this thing this is like he's caused a staggered effect one of these two cars I'm not one of those people who carry those little cards around. I don't know if it's a thing in other parts of the world where if you were to uh, see somebody parked at a very terrible like parking job, some people carry around little cards they put in their window just to be not passive aggressive, but just being like, hey, asshole, you did a shitty job parking. Here's a card with some sort of witty little response and some copyrighted character flipping you off. Usually it's Mickey Mouse or... Calvin and Hobbes, I don't know. Just saying, hey, you did a bad job, and I'm here to let you know that I saw you park badly. Uh, Scando. If 
if not Russia, we're up, we're in this area. I'm feeling it. Whether or not I'm actually going to get out and find a non-dirt road, this is probably. If I had to think about class road, like classifications of roads, this is at least maybe a class three. I don't know if it goes below class three. I don't know if that's an actual uh, road classification in other parts of the world. I only know it from hunting in that you're not allowed to actually um, shoot on the road, but you can shoot on class three roads, which are basically like this, if not shittier. Like um, if there's, this could be, mm, not yet, like asphalt paved roads, that, that's not class three. You want super dirt ruddy roads in the middle of the woods, then just legal to shoot on them in case you really needed to shoot something. I almost thought that copyright Google sign was actually a sign on the road. So we moved out a little farther. And we do have signage. All right. Kaina Korgesar. I'm going to say this is Finnish. For no reason. So I'm just going to say we're here. And maybe I will find where we actually are. Uh, what's the closest route? 18, well, 11. So we're going to go to Kogasar and hopefully get there in time. We're at a, a pound sign, apparently. That's on your rotary phone. Actually, not rotary. I think, yeah, there was a pound sign on the rotary phone, wasn't there? I'm asking you people, like, you might know what a rotary phone is. I don't know. <clears throat> I am all over the place here. Uh, anything new with me? Um, I'm so glad you asked. Um, second batch of cider is very much on the way. Bubbling in my closet right now. Fermenting. All that yeast is doing its job. See how this kind of turned into dirt road to pit asphalt? Heista. Well, this is where they steal things. Uh, this is like a class one road now. We do have some houses. I'm going to look just to see if maybe they happen to have a flag sitting out in front of their house. Don't look it because I can't see a house anymore. Got a minute left. Um, let's see what else. It's just another week so far. Noth nothing exciting. Kind of a shit day at work, but hey. Shit days happen, and you have to accept that they will. Not every day is going to be fucking sunshines and lollipops, but the cool thing is, is how bad it was, it's over now. Comparatively speaking, tomorrow's at least got to get better. I mean, I also didn't do too bad. I didn't set the place on fire. I didn't, like, completely just vomit all over my stuff at work and been like, oh, geez, I'm sorry I did that. It's embarrassing. Oh, God, it's just everywhere. It was just a bad day. They happen. Oh, bloody, it's not really that important or big of a deal. Things got resolved. It was just, eh. When, when you think you figured something out, or you're like, I have no idea how to figure this solution out. Whoa, that's some creepy. This is creepy. I want to go here. Let's go to Creepy Town. I feel like I'm about to go to an SCP site. In five seconds. No, this ain't that creepy. Maybe at night it is, but... Nice cars. Oh, holy shit. I got the country completely wrong. We were here in little old Estonian island. Well, let me take a drink. That happens. <clears throat> what are you going to do? Uh, Africa. I think here or Asia. Bed frames. And doors, it looks. No, nope, this is just random furniture. Let's see, what does this say? English. Okay. Hmm. Wesigwa? Wesigwa? Let's see what this sign says. Upper Room Gospel Church. Okay. So this is on this continent now. I don't know if I'm actually going to nail it, 
Neo Evolution. Man, I really wish we didn't. Uh, I don't want to go up that road. I want to see this. I want to see this sign. What do we got here? Mega Standard Supermarket is a great. This dot com. A discotheque. Experience the power of neon in my brand. Look no further than us. N I'm not seeing a country. What do we got here? Uganda. All right. We got Uganda. Let's see. We got Boda. Kla. KLA. I almost feel like that that's like an abbreviation for something, but I'm just going to look real quick. I got plenty of time to try to find this here. Okay, I don't see it off the bat. I almost feel like this might be like an abbreviation for a, for a place within Uganda. But for now, I think I'm just going to go ahead and maybe see if we're outside Mbale. Boda. Boda stage. Is there a Boda? I got a lot of things to, to, to search for, but I don't think any of this is like big enough, maybe town wise, to actually show up on here. It's probably like a, uh, like a, the, 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 an area around a large city. Like, cause this seems a pretty well developed area here. Um, I did start reading a, uh, interesting book. Uh, has to do with this region, I believe. Actually, no, it's more this one. Uh, King, Leop King Leopold's Ghosts, I believe. I've just started. I'm a couple of chapters in. Um, it's still in like the establishment time period when they just talk mostly about King Leopold and his super desire to actually get any um, territory here in uh, Africa. It it's a pretty thick book, and I'm pretty sure it gets super depressing at some point. I'm just not there yet, uh, so I can't really make a uh, uh, review so far. I mean, it, it's doing a pretty good job establishing the things. I'm going to take a sip. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, I want to get back on this road. This might be my best bet. You're on a phone. I can't see. Maybe this dump truck might help if it stays here. Let me get around you. Maybe you've got some labeling on you. <clears throat> you do not. All right. Uh, ooh, what do we got here? White Star Laundry Bar Soap. An interesting thing I've noticed with a lot of buildings, at least, where, like, one company will... Oh, we were actually in a suburb of... Kampala, control W, I don't need to see. Was that a... No, I'm not seeing it. Come back to Jesus in National Church. I'm not seeing a, like any of the things I was just looking for on there. Maybe Kasanga, but eh. I don't know. Got some rubble here. Mercedes-Benz, Aspire. This could be Turkey. Um, I really feel like one of these times I should just spend an entire day just... 10 second rapid fire for like 20 minutes to see how well my score is and see if my like gut feet gut guess is actually like right but i don't know how i would score that would it be like a uh well you got the country right type thing because i mean i got 10 seconds i i'm going to spend most of that time actually trying to locate the uh place yeah, this is very much turkey Problem is, I don't know if I'm actually gonna like. Is this Ankara, Istanbul, Burs? There's a lot of places here this could be. I'm just gonna put it there for now, and kind of go from there. Let's see. Um, sorry, let me clear my throat. It's a uh, interesting conundrum I have, completely unrelated to anything else. I've kind of moved on to a different point of babbling on here um i keep eyeing like 
certain games and I always think about, well, maybe I'll actually buy this one. And I, I just go through this completely mulling period of, do I want to get it? Do I don't? And then a lot of the times if I end up do getting it, I'll play it for like one time. It's like, oh, that's cool. And then I just never play it again just because. But I'm think I keep thinking about picking up Hearts of Iron. The only problem with that game, if um, you don't know anything about it, is it's a certain developer who makes it loves making uh, downloadable content for it. And they make a lot of it. And this game's been out for a couple of years now. And like the most recent thing that came out, it's like, oh, this is cool. I like what you're doing here. I would very much like to play it. In order to like get to that point, there's so much I'd have to buy to get to it. It's a lot of money. And then a lot of times it's like, well, if you got this and there's a couple other things you thought were cool, well, they're only exclusive to this other expansion. And then I I don't know. It, it, it ends up being a lot of money. And then I might play it for a little bit, then be done with it. And I'm like, I spent all this money on this freaking game. And this is what happened. But I don't know. Maybe I will. I keep thinking I could do some fun stuff with that. But I gotta pull the trigger. Anakolu and Akulu, which makes me think this could be an Italia. And I'm gonna go ahead and put us there. I feel ballsy enough to actually go ahead and make that decision. Just because that one building said that. Unless Terzi is a thing, I doubt it. This is a big enough city. I don't know if I've seen water yet, but I've also kind of not like see out there. Eh. Let me let me see Adora. Professional stuff. It's a movers, I believe. Hmm. Is that a lowrider? Oh no! I think he just put the flaps down on his his truck. That's some watermelon and a type of squash. Seems like maybe a different type of melon I've never seen before. That's possible. Gondola. Okay, now I'm changing to Istanbul because I don't think Anatolia would have gondolas. Shit, I was right the first time. <laughs> oh, it was Ankara. That's the only reason I changed it to Istanbul was just because it had gondolas, and I felt like, oh, it's got to be a super huge city for that, and they wouldn't do that for Antalya. It would be Istanbul. I was wrong. Taking a drink. Okay. This. Canada or America. That truck is going to end up passing us, so I'm going to just keep moving forward until it does. Yeah, this is this is North America. I'm gonna if I ended up doing that ten second thing, I would get so many of these wrong. Why am I over on this side of the road? I want to see that bus. This bus will tell me everything. Only if it wasn't blurred out. West Rusk. Hmm. Hmm. Let's. Keep going. This is a very long hill. And usually with the hills, they'll have the uphill be the one that's two lanes for the very large vehicles that have to... Oh, that was an oil derrick. Okay. So oil derricks... There's certain parts of the this that would have it. You could have any this entire swath. They could even have it up here in Canada. Hmm. Let's see what this sign says. It'll say, can I get over there? I cannot. Colorado Road? Oil derricks in Colorado, huh? All right. Well, we'll uh, put us there and continue searching. Let's see what this road is probably speed limit. No, it's a Colorado thing again. Sunlight is just hitting everything perfectly that I'm not going to be able to really tell where we are, I think. 
these houses are just far enough away from the road that Accurate Machine Shop 2. Don't confuse it with the first one. <clears throat> oh, we do have Texas. County Road. I am an idiot. So we're in Texas. Route 42. Now. These are going to be very hard to find because I have a feeling, yeah, they're these blocked roads. And I need to find an intersection that tells me what this route is. And that's going to be a problem, I think. Although there is a uh, sign here that's going to t hopefully tell me price in New London. That does not help me. What does this say? That doesn't help me. Henderson, Texas. I feel like I've heard that name before. Hmm. Okay, I've got less than a minute to try to find Henderson. That's going to be hard. None of this is really registering in my face right now. I'm just looking at a wall of uh, names here. I gotta find this, whatever route this is, in the 30 seconds I have left. Give me a friggin' route, come on, where are we? That's the speed limit, I think. Yep. Come on. Okay, this might tell me <clears throat> where we are here. 64. Hmm, Texas 64. I see a 62. I'm not seeing a 64 anywhere. I don't know if I'm going to find this in time. Like, I feel it's up here. There's Henderson. We were on Route 64. Yeah, there it is. Oh, well. That wasn't a bad round. Could have gotten a little better, but hey. What happens when you play this game? I got one country completely wrong, but I think you can at least forgive me for getting that one wrong. Anyway, that's going to do it for our Wednesday edition of the show. Again, thank you all for watching. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, ideas, or anything else having to do with anything I've already said this episode, or anything in general, go ahead and put it in the comments below. I'll read them and get back to you. The week is almost done. One more day to go. My throat keeps refusing to let me talk, so I'm going to cut this short right now. Thank you all. We'll see you Friday.